Yo guys, what is going on? Um, welcome back to another video tonight. Uh, you know, I heard uh, the comments last night. Some people were like, <laughs> I saw somebody comment at midnight on my original video. It was like, I've been wait. I'm going to wait for this upload. Guys, some nights I'm not going to double upload. I apologize about that. I guess what I'll try to do in the future is give you guys a little bit more of a heads up of when that's going to happen. What we're going to use tonight's upload about is I have a few questions for you guys who watch my videos. Um, just a few different things that I wanted to ask you guys about. And then we're going to talk about the promo. Just a little bit more of an account update. Maybe some trading tonight as well. I don't really know. We're just going to kind of sit here and talk for a little. Um, I wanted to ask you guys two things, right? Um, number one, I really enjoy draft. Now, I know there's on YouTube, well, out of the people that I follow on YouTube, I follow Nepenthes, right? I know that he does a series with like Draft the Glory. I don't really know how it works. What I'm wondering to you guys who do watch my second channel, I do play reviews over there. Would you guys be okay with a once a week, maybe twice a week? It really depends on the week. This week, because of the footmas reviews, I probably wouldn't be able to post one or two. Um, but in the kind of off weeks, just kind of posting a draft, doing the highlights, picking the team, and then just get showing the rewards, but talking over it while we play it. Because for me, I feel like that's a cool way to showcase you guys some players and choosing different players and maybe some of these nominee cards and all that without having to do the full force effort of a player review. And then, you know, I don't know if we make it a series or what it is, but maybe a once a week kind of thing. Um, Cause I would really enjoy doing that. I don't know. I like posting, I like posting highlights and all that. And I think draft is really relaxing for me and it's, it's fun to play. Um, so let me know about that. Second of all, um, you know, if you guys would like to do like a two part comment or something like that, I guess let I guess let me know where you guys think the direction of this promo is going. Um, because today I wanted to talk about it. Today looks like a decent, decent step in the right direction, which is a good thing. Today looks like EA have maybe responded a bit. Now, what I would like to say, so let me know about those two things, guys. Let me know about those two things. And then I guess a third thing is why I'm asking a lot of you guys tonight, but this is why we're uploading tonight. And I want you guys to be interactive with me in the comments and, and, and tell me what you want on this channel and all that. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see on the main channel, man. Um, if there's anything differently you guys want to see in the future, stuff that you liked to the videos in the past, videos that you enjoyed, and just upload the ones that you guys want to see the most. Um, because I, I don't always know what you guys want, and I just am in a routine of uploading content that I want to upload. And sometimes as the viewer, I don't know what you guys want to see um, the most, you know. So the only thing I would say to you guys that I'm not going to be able to do that a lot of you will ask for, low budget trading, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do it because I just don't really do it. And you can look on my channel because there's series in the past that I've done for it. It's on older FIFAs, but it's the same thing in this FIFA. So if you want to learn how to do it, it's like a Road to R9 series I have that was back in the day, long time ago. But, you know, I just think that that is something that I probably wouldn't be willing to do. Um, but I'm, I'm open to hearing what you guys want to see and, and definitely be checking in on the comments in this video. So just keep me posted on that. But as we're talking about the promo a little bit more... I would say the number one thing that I'm really disappointed about so far is just the lack of the player, at the the pack SBCs. We didn't get a pack SBC again today, and I feel like a big part of the Footmas promo should be that we're getting these daily pack SBCs, these chances to pull these team of the year nominee players. Uh, you know, I feel like those. You know, back in the day, I think I think it was 18 or 19 Black Friday where we were getting like for Black Friday we were getting like 50k packs for 5k, and I just feel like that should be something that happens every promo, right? Because even if you're a person that goes into a promo and can't afford any of these cards. You should be a person that embraces, right, these little packs and all that. So we've got two new SBCs today. Um, you know, I just tried out Inyaki Williams over on the second channel. You know, it's it's a card that both these SBCs right now are, are in terms of the value compared to what we've had, are the best we've had so far, some of the best. This uh, Inyaki is about 70k, which if you look at it, compared to on the market to Scream, uh, Gamero, Scream, uh, what's the other guy's name? Scream, Aspas. The value is pretty good. Uh, that is something I will say. The value is pretty solid for this card. When you look at the price tags of those guys on the market and what this guy is in SBC, you also get the value of like kind of like a footmas untradeable, which is a certain value. Obviously, it lacks in a few areas, but it's a popular FIFA card, and Yaki is always very popular in FIFA. And so I don't have a problem with that. I'm, I'm loving that they've downed the squad ratings a little bit. Um, I, I'm personally like weirdly regretting not doing Douglas Costa just because he fits the way I play a lot, but I think he'll get another special card down the line. So I'll be okay. It was expensive anyways. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's, it's better. 84 rated is better. I think this did move the 84s a little bit today. And then this is fantastic. I mean, Cavani's 40 K. Some people say this card is not usable at all. It, it is actually usable. You'd be crazy to say that a card with 90 finishing 75 acceleration, you know, is not a usable card. It's not a great card. But it's a good, okay card. You know, it reminds me of Harry Kane a lot in FIFA. It's a very similar card to that. 
um, that type of player, you know. So it's not a bad SBC at all, and it's 40,000 coins, which I personally love. I will be completing this SBC most likely. Uh, it might be on this video. It may not be in this video, but it's an only it's only an 83 rating. You know, you can use foot champs players. You have to use team of the week players, which, you know, that could be a little bit more challenging depending on what you have and don't have. But I have team of the week players. This is something that I really like. I like this SBC a lot. And then EA also, interestingly enough today, whether they meant it or not, they released a Diego Carlos, which the guy looks really good. Medium high is, is a very good, like, situation to have. Um, he's 67K, but personally, I, I like this card. Let me pull up Europa League uh, draw. I want to see who these guys play. Um, so we got the Europa League draw, last 16 draw. Uh, is this the right article that I'm looking for? The full draw for the last 32. So Sevilla are playing CFR 1907. I've never heard of that team. So Sevilla is always a team that does do pretty well in the Europa League. What I'll tell you is with the Europa League, um, I have to confirm how, uh, EA wrote to the final upgrades. I have to confirm this with you guys because I want to make sure that we're talking about these upgrades correctly. Uh, the way that these cards get upgraded with the uh, Europa League cards. Uh, can you show me the Europa League? I got to look at the Europa League because this one is different than the Champions League, the way these cards upgrade. So, um, Europa League. Qualify for knockout stage. Qualify for the round of 16. So, he's been upgraded, I think, already. So, if they go to the round of 16, he goes to an 86. And then the round after that's an 87. And when you think about it, it... As an 86, this guy would have 82 pace, you know, 85, 86 defense. It reminds me a lot of Eder Millie Tows towards the final, which is 500k. So I think you guys, if you're interested in this card, I like the value of this a lot. Um, I like the value. I like the value of this a ton. Um, a ton, a ton, a ton, guys. I really, I really do feel like this is good. Um, so if you want to go ahead and do it, uh, you can. I think this is, you know, long term, you're paying for a really good card. I think the 60 balance is not great. Stamina is a little low for a center back, but 90 strength, overall, really good card. And this also gives you some packs back as well. That's the thing, man. It's a prime. They're not great packs, but you will spend about 50 to 60K, which I think for this card is good too. So it's an interesting SPC. I may complete this as well just to get it in the club. Uh, I may do this in Cavani. Been making a lot of coins recently, and I'm actually okay with the value. So we may end up doing those two SPCs today on uh on the video so i think the direction of the promos is going in the right way I, I liked it today i thought it was definitely getting better i don't know what this is daily objective um what i wanted to talk about was i don't know where the the player is today we probably should have gotten another player today or maybe i, I don't know i thought we were gonna get at least something else today bro but i'm not gonna complain because overall i was quite content with that stuff there are some cards that I'm currently working with. I did buy a ton of Sergio Ramos today because of this Diego Carlos. For some reason, with Ramos, uh, he did get panic sold. Another thing today, guys, I have been trading a few of these blue cards. I've been trading Road to the Finals nominees today. That's what I've been trading. Uh, I've been trading different stuff every day, and that's what kind of keeps it unique for me is that I trade different cards every day. And today was the first time in a long time that I flipped the Messi and Ronaldo in the same day. I bought this Messi at 126. So we make some great profit there. And I bought this Ronaldo at 1.3 flat. I got a big undercut, about 100K, waited for the trend backwards. Um, and we sold it at 1.517. So we made across these two cards about 250K liquid coins. And so I feel like we should definitely, you know, with those, with those bonuses, we should take those bonuses, use them to go ahead and do an SBC or two we like. What I wanted to look at with you guys today um, that I thought was maybe a little bit, uh, you know, I thought it was relevant to go look at um, today is the... Uh, I want to go see with all of you the 83s, the 84s, that kind of stuff. How did that stuff react today, you know, to to all this kind of stuff? I've got a club stop, club uh, full of stuff at the moment. You, these were really low. The thing is, the high rateds weren't bad, but the low these cards got very, very low, um, you know, throughout this week. And they're up. Okay, so they're up. Now, I think the lick is out of packs. But as you look at this, guys, this is why I always say just do a club stock of golds before promos. Always, man. Delict is 15K at the moment. So he's an 85 that we picked up at 9.9. .9. And this is simple stuff from just following the videos, guys. This is very simple. Ziek, uh is up at 12. I wouldn't be interested to see what Koke's at today. Koke's at about 11 or 12. So it looks like that some of these guys that did actually go out of packs are doing really, really well at the moment. Uh, we picked up Carvajal at 11. He's about like 14, I think. I think Alaba's probably up there as well. Alaba looks like he's about 14. So a lot of these guys are minimal profit, but I think you say in a, in a give or take a few more days, a few more SBCs and things like that, that these guys could be really good. 
as time goes on. But at the moment, from the club stock, if you think about all the players that we picked up, if we're making at least 2 to 3K on every 85, that's instantly 50 to 70K just from doing these little club stocks, guys. And that's not, that's not counting lazy buyers. That's not counting days ahead that we could get crazy SBCs. So this is why we do this always before every single promo, guys. Now, what I would like to look at today is because of the amount of 83, 84 squads, did our 84s or all that stuff go up? Because this was these were very low the other day, like very low. Um, so we bought this Felipe at 5.4. I paid extra because he has good links, good nationality, things like that. I did pay extra for him for that reason. I want to see if he is up today. Um... I don't think he's up. Let me, I, I mean, it's really hard to see with all these guys here, but I think, I, I can't really tell if he's up at the moment. Um, 84 rated Felipe, he's 6.8. No, these guards are all up. Wow, good going. These are all up. I think Sancho's out of packs. So Sancho's about 7K. Uh, Visco was a really cheap 84. We bought him at 4K, so he's only like 4.5. Keppa was a little bit more of an expensive 84. We bought him at 4.5. He's at like 5.5. So even the 84s guys that are honestly like, you know, you know, these are not really like, these have not been up a lot. They're actually recovered and they've gotten back over the price that we paid for them initially, which is fantastic. Um, it's really, really good. Douglas Costa is about 7.5K, 8K. Yeah, this is really good, man. These cards are all up a ton today. And I, you know, I would never be greedy, guys. So if you did do this club stock with us uh, on the channel and the community, if you did this, take some money, you know, list them for lazy buyers, definitely because people are doing these SBCs, but Take some money on these cards because you don't, you never know what day a day by day SBC is going to come. Uh, the 83s look to be about break even. These were these were not as good. Um, what I want to see right now is let me see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I don't know what the footmas leak is. I know that Sissoko is supposed to come at some point. Uh, at some point, but. I would just be taking some money as you go, guys. So if you take, if you if you have some profit on these golds, you take it. I, I haven't even looked though past just these 83s and stuff. Did we get any huge rise on our lower like stuff on our higher stuff? So we bought. I know that you guys and and myself, we bought a lot of these, right? Like the, the lot big club stock here. So we bought like Godin at 30. So these are about break even. I think they were higher the other day um, when I think it was Messi came out. So I'm, I'm okay with holding these though, man. We just, I, you know, I want to have these in the club. I want to be ready to go for potentially when these do skyrocket. I'm still waiting for that day where I find that I check my club and that these golds have just absolutely skyrocketed on the market. Like I, that day I am currently waiting for, uh, and we will, we will continue to await, await that day. Um, the market in general today has reacted well though. Uh, from what I can see that the market has kind of just chilled for a little and I think tomorrow's another another day where, you know, you have the opportunity where the only thing that would really crash the market tomorrow would be like a 50K pack that costs cheap or a 35K pack. Like if we get one of those, it will hurt the market a bit. And then Thursday, we have rewards. I'm expecting the market to, to go up on Thursday. Um, I'm thinking it's been going down for so long that I just feel like so many players are so cheap now that some people are going to cave in and do it. Then it leaves this big question mark for what is Friday? Is it going to be prime icons? Is it going to be road to the final? Another set or is it going to be all is going to be all inclusive in one and, and we get lightning rounds with all that stuff? Knowing yay, it probably is. I don't know though because Footmas is running. Uh, Footmas is still running for two weeks, so you know it'll be interesting to see what they do with Footmas. They didn't put anything in the Footmas like information thing about Prime Icons coming, so I don't know if that's gonna happen necessarily. Um, that will be very interesting to see how they kind of unroll all this stuff out because they told us mid December is Prime Icons. We're already past technically the halfway point of December, so they've got to probably, hopefully, I mean that's gonna be I think a big one that they're bringing out for Christmas is that you, you know, you can get I prime icons and all that. That's a big like sales thing. Uh, so we'll have to see how they, you know, kind of do all that. That's going to be very interesting to see how they, how they bring that out. And then I think, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys as well, just about weekend league and stuff. You guys not have been playing. Um, you know, I think very, very soon, I don't know if it's going to be this weekend or the weekend after we'll start playing to like, you know, 10 wins or however well, you know, however, you know, kind of similar to, uh, I know that Nepenthes does a way where he just kind of plays when he wants. And that's kind of what I want, dude. I don't, I don't want to put this extra stress on myself for playing this game. I want to enjoy the experience with you guys, uh, and myself, obviously. And, and so I think it was getting out of hand with the weekend league you know, before earlier in the year, even though we we're putting up great results, it just shows you how draining the game is. And, you know, 
I think it's just a little much. So we'll kind of see. I think team of the year, though, is when I'll probably start playing not full-time weekly league again, but close to it. We'll probably be playing 20, 25 games, stuff like that, just because I really want to use those cards, man. And that's why right now I'm trading like a psycho. I am trading like crazy at the moment because uh, I want to get these cards, man. I want to get these cards, and I want to have extra coins left over after I get these cards. You know, I want to have these players in my club, in, in my team, these big boy icons, and, you know, I want to show you guys what it is to work hard for that all year. So thank you guys for watching my videos. Let me know in the comments down below just any of the thoughts from the earlier questions that I asked. And if, if you guys have responses to them, that's great. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon. Peace out.